My name is Jana and I'm part of the marketing team for Alucab. I have somehow managed to convince my bosses to allow me to take some of our Alucab kitted vehicles out when I go camping. I then try my hand at filming these adventures so that I can share them with you. In this specific series, I'll be taking the 76 Land Cruiser with the Alucab Thor roof conversion all the way to Namibia. So stay tuned for some ups and downs, as well as some pretty epic scenery through the Namibian dunes and more. Good morning and welcome to my little apartment in Cape Town. It is now Monday the 20th of December and I'm currently busy sorting out and trying to figure out what to pack for Namibia because the time has finally come. Tomorrow morning, hopefully before the sun comes up, we'll be on our way in the 76 Land Cruiser with the Thor roof conversion, making our way to the Orange River. Um, we will stay for the night and the next day we'll be crossing the border into Namibia, which is super exciting. I can't believe the time has come, but um, now I need to figure out what to pack because it's obviously super warm in the desert, but it could also get very cold at night in the dunes. So I need to pack smart and I need to try and fit everything into that bag on my bed. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so just to take you through it, um, I'm taking some hiking boots and just tough camping boots in general. My sandals. Um, toiletries, long sleeve shirts, which might be a little bit too many, I'll see now whether they all fit, um, pants, which are mostly shorts and a few long pants for the evening, long pants, I'm not sure if that's the right word, trousers, I don't know, <laughs> um, short sleeved little tops um, for the warm days, a big jacket um, for the colder evenings, um, swimming clothes, very essential for the places we'll be camping at with swimming pools. But then also a beanie and a scarf because you don't know how windy it's going to be. A hat, which is super essential. And then just for fun, a little disposable camera, a book and a travel journal. Okay, so everything did not fit, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm gonna take another bag. I'm going to keep my toiletries, shoes, and hat, and my recreationary, that's not a word, recreational goods <laughs> in um, that bag, which also should make it easier should I go to the ablution blocks or go to the swimming pool, then I have another bag to keep my, my towel. I need to take a towel. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna pack that bag, the extra bag, and then I should be ready. Okay, so the packing is done from my flat into my car, and I'm on my way to Simo now where the 76 is parked. So we'll be packing everything over into the 76 and then we'll be going for our COVID tests which we obviously need to do before we can cross the border. So we'll test today and only find out tomorrow while we're already on the road whether we are negative. Such a weird thing to stress about in these strange times but let's do it one step closer to Namibia. <laughs> After the COVID tests were done, we started packing, which meant we were carrying everything down from the fifth floor where Simon stays, down to where the cars were parked. 
And yes, that little white car is my normal day-to-day -day city car. I don't drive around in 4x4s all the time. <laughs> Luckily it didn't take that long because while I was trying to figure out which outfits to take to Namibia, Simon was busy packing the recovery cupboard, and putting bedding up in the top and making sure everything generally has a space inside of the vehicle. The next morning we hit the N7 with the crisp enthusiasm that only the first day of holiday can bring. We made an essential stop at the Wimpy before taking on the rest of the road. So this will be the longest overlanding trip that Simon and I would be going on together. Simon has obviously been to Namibia, Botswana, in and around South Africa on long-term trips. But the longest I've gone away for, I think, was four nights and that was to Sutherland. So I was very excited to live out of the vehicle for more than two weeks. We finally arrived at our first camp spot for the trip. Plan number one was to make lunch because we were starving. Luckily we stopped at a town nearby called Springbok, which is actually Simon's hometown, to do all of our grocery shopping for the next few days in Namibia. Plan number two was to get to know the locals. So we are finally at our first camping spot for this trip, which is called Bushwacked. Um, it's right next to the Orange River um, in Fuelsdrift. So yeah, we've made some good time today. We left at about 6 a.m. and arrived at about 3 p.m. And since then we've just set up camp, had a drink at the bar, um, had a swim. So it's been really good. Last night we finished packing after we went for our COVID test and then we actually opened up our Christmas gifts to each other because we wanted to save some packing space in the Land Cruiser. So I don't know if you've noticed but the movement in my vlogs should be smoother because Simon got me a DJI Osmo 4 
which is amazing so I'm very keen to use that this holiday um yeah so here we are very excited tomorrow we should head over the border uh, we're waiting for our COVID test um actually last night after we finished packing the power went off in Cape Town the whole Atlantic seaboard where we stay because there was a huge um explosion at one of the substations um yeah so we didn't have power from 8 p.m until this morning when we left and we're still not sure whether the rest of cape town has power so um we had to finish packing in candlelight and flashlights and because of that we still haven't received our covid results our covid test results and we need those before we head over the border tomorrow so we're kind of stressing, waiting for that, but nothing we can do about it. We're thinking it has to do with the power sh um, shortage. So for now, we're just going to light a fire, enjoy the night and see what happens. So we'll keep you updated. We didn't pack too badly. Like this goes there. And then we've got a spot for wood and like the uh, gas burner and stuff there. That corn, those, that cornflake we bought this afternoon, so it still needs to go into the little Tupperware vibe. And then, other than the two, other than the two extra jerry cans that we've got there, that's on the ground still, it needs to go onto onto the top. We're actually like pretty sorted. Bags on the sides, camera gear that side. We've got a lot of space actually quite nice medical gear here hammock fairy lights will be on deterrent <laughs> which is a kitty <laughs> a kitty dead boil um goggles if the wind comes up in the in the desert well self-explanatory i added this a little towel rail Knife sharpener. And my knife. Knife for chopping quick check. Leatherman. If you ever need an extra one. Oh. And that's the vibe. Ice machine. But that you guys know. Yeah. And that's that for the first episode of this Namibia series. In the next episode, we receive our COVID results and um, I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.